Welcome to Extra Frame online bowling channel for the first ever Mark Roth Marshall Holman double selection show. And hello again, everybody. Mike J. Laneside alongside the president of Turbo, Lori Teshmar. And Lori, this is the Turbo Roth Holman doubles selection show. Sounds good, doesn't it? It sure does sound good. And doubles competition. Uh, one of the favorites out there. You've got team and you've got singles competition, but there's nothing like having a doubles partner. I love I love doubles. I love team too. I think it's truly the heart of bowling. It's a lot of fun, you know, to watch and to uh, root the root the guys on in that sort of setting. Well, we've yeah. got the selection show coming up, and PBA Tour Commissioner Tom Clark is going to have the announcement of the doubles teams. And before we do that, we just want to catch up on what's going on with Turbo. So bring us up to date with what's going on before we get into the Turbo Doubles selection itself. Well, there's always something going on. Uh, I think one of the most exciting things is uh, our Collegiate Expo. This is our second annual 2012. It'll be in July this year. Um, a lot of our coaching staff, pros will be out, uh, Jason Couch, Bill O'Neill, Carolyn Dorn Baylor, Deandra Asbatty, uh, Mike Wolf, great guys coaching high school students um, on their way to college. <laughs> We have about, last year we had 14 universities that came in, checking out these young kids bowling. So coaching is where we're at. We believe um, it's uh, where we need to be as a company, as a sport, getting these young guys, young people, bringing them up, up the ranks and hopefully carry on to, to the, on to the professional level. Well, great. As I'm looking for equipment and I'm looking to enhance my bowling ball, what's the latest and greatest Turbo has to offer to enhance uh, the grip? Well, no doubt the latest and greatest is interchangeable technology. Um, we were the first to bring it out uh, eight years ago into the mainstream and pretty much most of these guys that are out here are using interchangeable technology. Um, we've expanded it into fingers now, so a lot of consumers, bowlers that are out there that um, frequent like a demo day. You know, Storm has a fantastic program, as does Brunswick and Motive, all are using our interchangeable technology. So we're going to continue to, to promote that product and to uh, push that. And where can I find that information on the World Wide Web? World Wide Web, www.turbogrips.com. Fantastic. Lori Tesmar, president of Turbo, we thank you for joining us today. And we thank you for helping us out as we're now ready to go to the selection. Who will be the number one pick? We'll find out. It's the Turbo Mark Roth, Marshall Holman, double selection show. And let's go to Tom Clark, the commissioner of the PBA Tour. All right, thanks a lot, Mike. And we're here at the first ever PBA uh, doubles championship draft. The players were, of course, as, as you've heard, decided by their performance in the Elite Players Championship. And this tournament is named after the greatest doubles team in the history of the PBA, Mark Roth and Marshall Holman. And uh, that makes this event even more special for these players. And it's special for us, Mark, that you're here. Uh, maybe talk a little bit about your relationship with Marshall and that team. Well, I, I just happened to watch him bowl for the first three, four years on when he came out on tour. I just liked what I saw. So in 77, I think it was, I asked him if he wanted to bowl, and he was, yeah, I'll bowl with you. And you know, that year we ran away and hit, and we won three times. But we had a lot of fun, and, you know, I would line him up, and he would line me up, and it was just something that we enjoyed to do. And you definitely were in extremely intimidating. Do you think there's any teams in this group behind us that, are, that could be as intimidating as you were? I think so. <laughs> you know, it's just the, the way you bowl and the way you act and the way you feel that you could win and beat everybody out on the lane. So I think so. Definitely. Right. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Mark. And as Mark said, sometimes it just comes down to picking the right partner. And now, with the first pick, in the Mark Roth Marshall Holman PBA Doubles Championship, tournament leader Ronnie Russell. <laughs> All right, Ron, who's it going to be? Uh, well, uh, I like to see a similar ball reaction to mine, so I'm choosing Sean Rash. All right, and Sean Rash, Sean, line up. <laughs> That's nice. Give Mark, give Mark a shake. I'm afraid to touch his hands. <laughs> and there's your team. There's your first team right there. You guys go over and talk to Jackie Bowling, and, we'll, and the next and uh, Wes Mullet's on the clock. Sean, you must feel lucky there. Your number one pick, Ronnie's Ronnie's pick. 
Yeah, it's you know it's an honor that Ronnie picked me. You know we've all bowled really well these last two weeks, and to, to have a chance to get him his first title and and uh, you know just bowl for it is going to mean everything to just not him and myself. But we're here to win. So why did you pick Sean? I'll tell you why. This was the hardest. It was a hard decision to to make because there's so many good bowlers. There's back there, you know, sitting down right now waiting to get selected. And I chose Sean. Uh, he's had an unbelievable week. So it's 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 a no-brainer to to pick him. Definitely when half the lane we're bowling on right now, you want a major on. So uh, just ready to bring Brunswick and DBA to title. All right. Well, good luck to you guys. All right. Thanks, Jackie. And now with the second pick. Mr. Wes Malat. Who's it going to be, Wes? Well, I figured I'd keep the weight class kind of even, so I'm going to go with Norm. Oh, wow, wow, nice. That's a heck of a team. <laughs> That's a good team right there. Here's uh, team two. Good job, guys. So leveling off the weight. <laughs> I like that. So any other reasons why you went with Duke? Oh, absolutely. That was just uh, kind of a little joke to, you know, the biggest guy on tour, probably the smallest guy on tour, just to even out the weight class. But uh, on a more serious note, obviously Norm's probably one of the greatest of all time. Uh, we've done a lot of clinics and stuff together recently, and uh, I think we got a, a pretty good, you know, uh, vibe going there for us. And, uh, you know, a little guy brings a lot of power. So I. Arena setting, I mean, what more can you ask for? Indeed, and Mr. Duke, how do you feel about bowling with Wes? Oh, I tell you what, this is perfect, perfect day. Uh, I kind of thought I was going to sit in the seat and be stuck with Weber, but now I get Wes Malad, I get to go up in the, in the number two slot. I couldn't be happier, and, and like Wes said, we gel really good together. Uh, and, and I think that right now he is probably one of the best that could pick a ball up, so I'm, I'm excited. All right, best of luck to you guys. All right, okay, thanks, Jackie. And now we're on to the third pick. Remember, there's going to be eight teams picked, and, and they're picking in order of their finish in the EPC, and they can choose from anyone in that's, that's available in this draft. Next pick, Andres Gomez. Hey. All right, Andres, big choice. Yes, i uh, been thinking a lot. Uh, it wasn't easy. Um, so many good players, uh, but I wanted to pick someone that I feel comfortable on the lanes that I know for a long time, and I know the international players. So I'm gonna go with Martin Larson. All right, all right. Yeah. All right, Martin. <laughs> That's good. That's good. That's good. Congratulations! Congratulations! Now, other than the obvious being you know, a good-looking international spice doubles team. Why did you uh, select Martin? Well, I think, you know, uh, I know him for a very long time, bowling international tournaments, bowling WTBA world championships and, and tournaments in Europe. And um, I can always feed from his game, and uh, I think we kind of talk the same language when it comes to ball play. So I think, uh, you know, we're going we're gonna to work hard as a team and, and maybe give a little bit of run for that title. So with all that history and uh, bowling together throughout time, do you think that's going to help you guys uh, get to make the TV show and, and win? Yeah, I hope so. It's always good to bowl with a good friend. He can make you relax a little bit more. And yeah, I'm, I'm really happy that he picks me. I'm looking forward to it. All right. Well, thank you, gentlemen. Back to Tom. OK. All right. Thanks, Jackie. And now it's time for the, the number four seed to make his selection, Mr. Mike Fagan. Mike, go, nice bowling, nice bowling. Mark. All right. Who do we like? Well, you know, a really good friend of mine, somebody that's been dominant on the tour the last couple of years, no-brainer, Bill O'Neill. Very nice. Nice pick. <laughs> wow. A lot of cat calls. I'm just scared of them. <laughs> There's your team. Now go talk to Jackie Bowling. Now, friends off the lanes, now friends on the lanes, do you think that's going to help with your chances of making it to the top? Absolutely, yeah. We have a great rapport, me and Bill. We're very uh, good at communicating on the lanes, so I think uh, it's a no-brainer for us, and you know, we, I like our chances. And how about you? What do you think about that? Well, Mike, Mike knew he had to pick me because I was going to do physical harm to him if he just skipped over me there. 
But uh, you know, on the bowling side, yeah, we work really, really well together, and uh, we've been bowling together a long, long time, so we know know each other's games pretty well. All right, thank you guys. Back to Tom. Okay, thank you. And now we come down to the next choice. It's Mr. Ryan Simonelli from the Buffalo area. First left-hander. Okay, big, big selection here. Who do you like? Well, I'm basing my selection strictly on chemistry, and I've been bowling against this kid for probably six to eight years now. D-Mac. All right, Dan. Dan the man. <laughs> nice team. Young team. <laughs> yeah, dark horse. Young team. Let's get these guys one look and then yeah. go see Jackie Bowling. All right, thanks a lot. Good luck. Good luck. So Ryan, what made you decide to go with Dan McClellan? Chemistry. Uh, team, that's all it comes down to is who you bowl best with, who, who you can get energy from and give energy to. And uh, we just got something about each other that I love watching them bowl, I love bowling with them, against them, doesn't matter. So, so you agree to uh, this team, you have uh, confidence that you guys are going to do good? Yes, uh, I have a lot of confidence. Me and Ryan, we both uh, bowled college against each other. We like to, uh, you know, get loud, show some emotion, have some fun out on lanes. So I think it's good. We, we're going to have a great team. I think that's going to be really exciting seeing you guys if, you're to, if you guys are going to get really wild. So I look forward to that, and good luck to you. Okay, with the next pick in the Mark Roth, Marshall Home, and PBA Doubles Championship, PD Dub. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, All guys, right, Pete. Come on now. Come on. <laughs> I know everybody wants you to pick them now. <laughs> Thank you so much, Mr. Roth. You're welcome, Pete. <laughs> All right, Pete. Who, is he, who do you like? What's it going to be? Uh, well, you know, I, I, I bowled one game with Jason Couch that we shot 290, but I'm not going to pick him. I'm going to go with the Australian, Jason Belmonte. All right. All right. All right, Jason. Thanks, Mike. All right, thank you. <laughs> Wow. Can you oh, this whole yeah, you got it. I don't know if I really want this guy as a partner. Right I know. I, I only got a bull five frames, though. I, think <laughs> I can make it. <laughs> All right, there's your team. All right, go talk to Jackie. Congratulations, Petey. I, don't give me that evil eye. Come on. Oh, come on. I want you to feel at home. I, I do feel at home. So uh, how do you feel about bowling with this old guy? Yeah, well, he's in my eyes, he's not that old just yet. But, um, you know, Pete's one of the guys who I used to idolize and still do. And, and if I want someone throwing five frames for me, it's, it's that guy next to me. So I feel very honored and very proud, and we're going to run him all over. I like that. So why did you go with the Australian Aussie? Well, I, I've known Jason for about 10 years now, and I respect the man awesomely, and he throws the ball so good, and I know for at least five frames, I know he can throw five strikes. And Well, actually, he's going to throw a lot more than that, but I can't wait for, for us to hook up and be partners. Great. Well, we look forward to that, and best of luck to you guys. Okay, with the next pick in the draft, Mr. Jason Couch. <laughs> Big man. Yes, sir. How are you? Good. All right, Jason, who's it going to be? Well, i got to figure whoever I pick, they've got to be pretty fortunate because I won Mark's last tournament in the plastic ball event. Right. So right. me and Mark have a little karma. Right. And uh, I've bowled with this gentleman for a very long time, and I am sure he's quite capable of holding me up for a few games. I'm picking Mike Devaney. Nice, all right. Yeah. Nice to you. <laughs> <laughs> that was your team. Nice pick there. Congratulations. So what made you pick Mike Devaney? Well, bowling with him during the week, I saw that he's throwing it really well, and I like Mike's emotions on TV. He gets fired up as well as I do, so uh, I think it's going to be a great team. We've bowled with each other for a very long time. I'm quite comfortable with him. And Mike, how do you feel about this pairing? Uh, I'm excited. You know, uh, I didn't have a good week last week. This week is better. Um, I'm throwing it well. Jason's throwing it well. Uh, high emotions on TV, short format. 
you know, quick frames, get ahead early, put some power into it, and uh, put some pain on the guys. All so. right, I like that. Well, best of luck to you guys. Thank you. Okay, we uh, so we know who, who the last team is. It's Mr. Dick Allen and Mike Scroggins, the team with the best hair in the competition. I, I must say so for myself. But uh, <laughs> what do you guys think about this? Oh, I think it's a good deal. I mean, uh, we both made top 16. Uh, I made show in the uh, elite tournament, and he bowled very well, so I, I like our chances. Dick, you look real excited. Yeah, you got to be kidding me, man. This is my dream matchup right here, and I did not have it on any of my brackets that I had. So I don't know how it worked out like this, but I'm stoked. I saw my man at Del Taco today. We both <laughs> ate there. I don't know how it works out, but, you know, Team Skull, we got it going on. <laughs> All right, great. Go talk to Jackie Bowling. You two are thrown together, Inter Ebony International Brothers. I think you guys have a really good shot. Are you going to bring back the 1980s throwback stash again? No, 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 it's gone. It, it, might, it might help you guys. No, I'm, I'm going to try and talk Mike into wearing a headband with me, though. <laughs> <laughs> so how do you feel about this pairing? I, I like it. I mean, no. Uh I think we'll do really good. I've known Richie for many years. In fact, we bowled in a team tournament about 15 years ago together. So I, I've known Richie for a long time. So bowling together before, you think you have a really good shot of reconnecting and, and doing well? Yeah, you know, we both got great karma on our sides. Um, he believes in stigmatics. I'm wounded like one right now. So, I mean, we're, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be a good team. You know, we're just going to throw it out there and see what happens. All right. Well, thank you, gentlemen. Back to you, Tom. All right, thanks, Jackie. So that wraps up the eight teams. It's going to be a really exciting show. I mean, that's a power-packed lineup. The only way those 16 guys got here was going through 30 games at the end of a very long World Series of bowling. So you know you got the best of the best, and now they're in teams in doubles teams. Mark, any teams jump out at you as favorites, those to watch? Well, there's three or four teams, uh, Ronnie Russell and Rash and O'Neill and Fagan and Petey and Belmonte. Anything is possible. It's just, you know, getting out there and making good shots and keeping things together. But those are my three that should be up there. Yeah, yeah. And I throw in the West Mallot Norm Duke team, too. That's one to watch. So thanks a lot again for everybody for, for tuning in. Thanks to Turbo for sponsoring the, the show. Thanks, thanks to all the fans of Extra Frame. <laughs>